Hello, Thickbit Gaming here. We are back with another horror game, this time Enclosure. And let's just start it. It looked interesting, so why not? WASD movement, E interaction. Easy to remember. Because it is very, very common. Okay. We woke up with the trash. Bloody trash. Probably nothing I want to know is inside. Doors open. Didn't expect that, but... Hmm. Yet to be able to interact with anything else than doors. Don't seem to have a jump, don't seem to have a sprint. Just a very claustrophobic feeling. Is this a PT inspired game? A la endless hallways. Is that a graphical error or. Hmm. I hope it's a graphical error, because elsewise. Okay. A second time that the Shadow Dead just. Vanishers appeared. Hmm. Really don't know what I should think about that. Really hope it's just a shadow. And nothing dangerous. Yes. Uh huh. Tell me more. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was a ward in there. At the end, but I don't know what was said. Was this puddle before? In the other rooms? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, somebody threw it down. And moved stuff. Hmm. Ah, that's not a person. I thought they wanted to trick you into thinking. It is something, just for it to be a piece of cloth. But the truth is, it was something. If I expected that to be a scare, I might not have... Well, jumped a little bit. Oh, and now we have the dark place. Great. Flashlights are always fun. Strange things happened in our small town. Today, in the morning hours, law enforcement agencies discovered the body of an elderly man. Okay. Police said the victim was wrapped in black plastic cellophane, while his head was found separately near the river where the old bunker building is located. Nothing more? That doesn't look like a human head. At least not from this angle. Ah, maybe. Might just be the graphics of the game. But looks pretty big too. You gonna talk again? No? Andrew Walker is currently 
charged with the first degree murder and battery. Speaking on behalf of him is the lawyer, who claims that Andrew was possessed and didn't commit this horrible crime. <laughs> ah, yeah. The good old possession defense. Mm. Nope. No ho ho ho. I can't return. Great. This time I'm fairly certain this is supposed to be a scare. Hey big guy. I expected more. No. You wouldn't do that, would you? Wait, is the door gone? Yes, it is. <laughs> Not the biggest fan, to tell you the truth, of that scrapping. Not gonna turn around. Pretty sure that's what they want me to do. Turn around. Oh. Oh. Cloning? None of them are you, Andrew. Even you are not you. Can't you remember? The accident? The exact genetic copy of you. Created thousands. Killed thousands. Just for the sake of it. <laughs> while you were chasing down ghosts. And now here we are. The fallout of your good intentions. I don't know why I had good intentions by cloning myself. Truthfully. That doesn't sound like a plan you do for others. Don't tell me somebody's killing all the clones. Hello, Mr. Head. Hmm. So many trash bags. All probably filled with the same stuff that the first one was in the room. Which means body pieces. There is no other way, Andrew. Pick up that axe and finish the job. Break the circle. Free yourself from all this. Pick up the axe. Sure. Give me an axe. Let me just hack him to pieces, because that's surely not the cycle. Only way to escape. Come on, smash the wall. Bam, bam, bam. No. Hi. You don't seem very responsive. True ending. So the game has multiple endings. Well, that was an interesting experience. So that guy cloned himself again and again it seems. Clones killed each other. Or he killed the clones. Miraculously I was able to kill him. A little bit strange the story. But enjoyable nonetheless. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed this little game. If you did, I would appreciate a like, comment or if you could subscribe. And I'll see you either in a stream or in another video. Bye!